Rapids. Right now we're sitting at 42 degrees in Grand Rapids. It is cloudy outside. We do have a couple sprinkles here and there in some spots, but our feels like temperatures have fallen into the 30s. That's because we have strong winds pushing in from the southwest, but it's not really doing so much to really help those temperatures. Many of us sitting in those mid to lower 40s. We're also seeing chances for some pop-up showers in some of our communities as well. Mostly cloudy skies among everybody. Winds are pushing out of the west at about 5 to 10 miles an hour with individual gusts that have already popped into those upper teens. So some stronger winds will be the name of the game for today as well. A lot of those rain showers off to the south are beginning to fizzle out, but we do have a couple really light spotty pop-ups in many of our central and northern communities. A low pressure system continues to basically park itself over Wisconsin which is causing this nice rotation when it comes to rain showers, which means we will continue to see some develop headed into the next couple of hours. Let's go ahead and look at the rest of our future track for you. We'll start to see them popping up within the next couple of hours. Again, very spotty, very unorganized through the rest of the day. Mostly cloudy skies are something you can bet on, but you may end up getting wet. So a little game of get wet roulette is definitely in the forecast for many of us today. As we make our way into the overnight hours, we're mainly going to see mostly cloudy skies, some of that rain sticking off further to the south for our southern communities. But as we head into Monday, as early as Monday morning, we'll start to see chances for flurries start to fall. Wind direction starts to change moving in from the northwest at about 5 to 15 miles an hour that will influence that colder air into our region, which then ultimately brings chances for those snow showers throughout the day. It does look like what we will end up seeing could be somewhat of a mix as well with some raindrops also integrated. So that's a good sign that will help diminish the ability for this snow to end up sticking. But to cold surfaces and grass, we may end up with a light dusting. As we move into Tuesday, we'll be left with just a couple leftover spotty snow showers and potentially some rain showers. So keep that in mind as we move through Tuesday as well. Mostly cloudy skies as we make our way through the remainder of the day. For today, high temperatures Temperatures will rise to 49 degrees, mainly cool out there, mostly cloudy skies, a little bit breezy, and then those spotty light rain showers will be pretty scattered. As we go into tonight, our low temperatures will fall into the mid to upper 30s, couple chances for spotty showers there as well. As we move into the start of the work week, temperatures are going to tank, mainly in those lower 40s a lot cooler and then chances of course for some of those light snow showers. By Tuesday we're thinking that they'll last in the morning start to taper off by the afternoon and we'll be left with mostly cloudy skies. Cloud cover begins to dissipate and we'll start to see some sunshine by Wednesday. High temperatures on Wednesday are the beginning of our up and up. We'll start to see those temperatures rise mainly into the 60s by Thursday and Friday. So finally a little bit of warmth featured in our forecast. It does however look like we could see a couple evening showers when when it comes to Thursday, those will stick around as we move into Friday. Then as we round out our week headed into next weekend, we actually have not only a warming trend, but a sunnier trend. Oh, so we'll finally. finally we'll start to see some more sunshine by next weekend with high temperatures topping 67 degrees. Now with warmer.